Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yuna and today I will be doing a Fendi unboxing. So I actually bought my Fendi items in Barcelona when I was there a couple of weeks ago. That was kind of right before the virus um, outbreak intensified. So this is the first item. Um, and the store was kind of empty when I was there. I think it was because of the virus, so it was kind of a weird night, but there's like no ribbons, no um, tissue paper really. This is my first time shopping at Fendi, so I don't know if this is how they normally do the packaging, but it was um, very simple, um, kind of underwhelming, but here's the box. And open it. There is a dust bag. And here we have the very iconic. Um, mini baguette and for those um, Sex and the City fans, this was probably the first IT bag in fashion. Um, it was first introduced in 1997 and it was like huge in the early 2000s but um, for the last decade-ish, you know, um, Fendi wasn't producing these and actually um, before this was reintroduced last year, the Fendi baguette um, on the resale market was selling for quite high prices. So this is called a baguette because it's meant to be carried under the arm, like how the French carry baguettes, super cute. So I prefer the size of the mini. It's um, seven and a half inches long by four and a half inches tall, and it can actually fit a lot of things. Um, so here's a plastic covering on it. Let me remove that, it has a magnetic clasp. And here's the inside, it's pretty roomy. And you have a little pocket there and the Fendi logo. Um, and you have a little like leather tag with a serial number. Um, so it can fit actually quite a number of things. Let's see. So I'm filming with my iPhone, but here's my old um, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So it fits in here like really easily. Um, can't forget hand sanitizer. I have allergies, so like I always have eye drops. These are the best. Uh, what are they called? Lumify. And I always carry around lip sticks, and sometimes I carry around lip gloss. It drops into here pretty easily. And I'm usually running around with like a really cheap pair of sunglasses. I think these are from Ross, and I think they're like six dollars. <laughs> but yeah, I just drop them in here. Um, so yeah, it fits everything really nicely. You can close it without any issue. Um, if you do like to throw everything into an SLG, you can also fit an SLG in here. Um, probably without taking up sunglasses. And here's one of my uh, Louis Vuitton SLGs. So yeah. And so it's super cute. You can carry it like this with a handle. You can carry it like this. Um, and you can carry it crossbody, of course, um, like this. And you can also take off these straps. You can take off the handle or the strap if you want. Um, you can also totally wear it as a belt bag if you want. I managed to rub it around. What's really funny is I was totally set on buying just one bag and it wasn't this one, it's this other one that I'll show you. But not even my SA, but another SA who um, didn't have any customers because it, it was kind of empty because of the coronavirus. She like came up to me and she was like, you know what, just because um, today's a weird day and you know, there's all this chaos with the coronavirus. Like that's the only reason why I allowed him to show you this bag. She's like, because on any normal day, I tell people that we don't have this bag. She's like, so many Chinese customers come in looking for this bag and I tell them that we don't have it because I don't want to give it to them and it's really rare. And I was like, what is this Hermes? Like, what, what, are, what are you talking about? And she's like, only because it's really empty today and because of coronavirus and we're going to be shut down for a while. That's the only reason why I allowed your SA to show you this purse. And so, you know, at first I was just kind of like not super in love with this purse. I was more so in love with this purse. But after she told me that, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I need to get it. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up buying two, two baguettes. You will see. Um, and the bag comes with a authenticity card. and yep, mini baguette and it comes with the serial number that matches inside the purse. Okay. 
So here is a bag up close. I think it is the perfect size. Um, and these clasps um, have Fendi engraved in them. And again, they are detachable. And this is a magnetic clasp. And it also says Fendi there. Let's see inside. So if you're really happy with this, I will probably be getting a lot of use out of this because it matches with everything. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down. All right, and pricing. Uh, let's see. This is the Fendi receipt that I got. So um, this purse, this baguette was 1,590 euros. And on the US website, um, it retails for $2,100. For those of you that are curious. I'm doing this unboxing separately because this isn't mine. I actually bought this for a friend, um, so I'm going to give it to her today. So it is this beautiful pale pink bag bug. And this was actually the last one. So the tag um, was already cut off because I guess this one was on display. But yeah, super cute, very poofy. It has um, it has almost like a very pale rose gold um, detail for the eyes, and the actual I guess iris portion is silver. And this is what it looks like. And the clasp is like this. This is how you hook it onto your bags. Just kind of push it down. And then it does have the Fendi logo here that's uh, in protective plastic. I'm not going to take that off because this one is not mine. Um, and here is the Fendi tag that came with this. It just says Fendi Roma. Um, yeah. And lastly, here is the little authentication cards and a reminder to not eat the silicone. Um, so here's a little envelope. Um, here's the official name of the bag bag, I guess. Volpes Lagopas Arctic Marble Arctic <laughs> Volpes Lagopas Arctic Marble Fox. Um, and I guess it's rabbit fur. It is um, very soft and fluffy. So, and here is the little dust bag. And yeah. Okay, on to the second bag. I've already told you guys it's a forget. <laughs> Let me know if that is customary from your guys' experiences at Fendi. I think that I just came in on like a crazy day. So. Um, there is the cap, the box, and there's the dust bag again. And it is another mini baguette. This is the baguette mini cage. Um, I fell in love with this because it just looks so cool and it made me look really cool when I looked in the mirror. <laughs> and I believe this uh, this design is from um, from fall winter 2019. So um, last season. And this bag is really cool because it can be worn multiple ways. And um, unlike the fabric mini baguette that I just showed you, this um, this fabric, the jacquard, the jacquard, this fabric is treated and so it'll last a lot longer than um, the fabric baguette. But yeah, this bag can be worn multiple ways, um, and it does have these little pouches, so you can, you know, stick whatever you want in there. And it also has um, an AirPod case here, which is really cool. And um, these also button down if you want them to. That. Um, and then to open it. I honestly like would keep this open. I wouldn't shut it because it's actually like pretty hard to open. <laughs> okay. And 
and again it has that um, magnetic closure and here's the inside and we have some slots for cards and again we have a little tag okay the Fendi tag with the serial number is on the front here um, the dimensions of this bag is 9.8 inches long by 5.9 inches tall. Um, and like I said, you can wear it multiple ways. So you can wear it like this with both of the chains and the cage intact um, as a crossbody like this. Or um, just on the side there. Or you can remove the cage part. And also, um, this is interesting, you can hang a little keychain from down here. Um, or anything you want is what my essay told me. <laughs> yeah, so you can remove this cage. Just slide this off. So it comes apart like this. And it basically looks like the um, mini baguette that I just showed you. So you can carry it like this, you can carry it under your arm like how it's meant to, um, and you can also remove the straps as well. You can remove the crossbody or you can remove the handle. And this too, I mean, it's it's bigger than the, the mini baguette that I just showed you. So it can fit more than what I showed you with the first bag. This bag in the US retails for 2,890, um, and I purchased it for 2,400 euros. And unfortunately, um, because it was such a hectic day, my essay uh, forgot to put in the authenticity card for this, but he will be mailing that to me shortly. You have made it to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my Fendi unboxing slash haul. Um, if you are interested in fashion, lifestyle, beauty, I am planning on pumping out more content. So subscribe if you want and follow my socials. It's at Fashion Composium.